Oh, good job. Please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Again, the floor is given to the co-prosecutors to continue putting questions to the witness. And Mr. Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please hold on. I noticed that the National Lead Co-Lawyer for Civil Parties on his feet. Do you have the floor? Wait, um, good morning, Mr. President, uh, Your Honours. We would like to... We only need... a. Uh, a short period of time to put the questions to these witnesses for that reason. Uh, all the time to, for the uh, both teams uh, will be given to the uh, co prosecutors. We only need about five minutes, President. That is uh, the arrangement between your team, and you may proceed. Then. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, thank you, Council. Um, I was about to ask you about a group uh, called the Long Sword Group. Uh, do you remember a militia unit uh, by that name? And can you tell us when it was that the Long Sword, Long Sword Group was established? The Long Sword Group was formed in 1977, and it could be in early 1977, or it could be even earlier than that, meaning in late 1976. And can you explain uh, what the Long Sword Unit did? Uh, what was its function, and how was it? Uh, how was its function different than the commune militia? The Long Sword Group uh, was established with a different uh, role from the uh, commune militia. When there was a plan for the arrest of people, in particular the new people or those uh, mobile unit workers, the long sort of group would be deployed. And usually when the long sort of group was present, a large Arrest will be made, that is, for a group of people, not just for one or two individuals. The arrest could be from five uh, people and more. And usually people would not even feel hungry when they saw the long sort group coming, because whenever they went, uh, something happened. And that's the purpose of the establishment of the so-called Long Sword Group. Did the Long Sword Group uh, arrest and bring people to Wat Otrakun? Question: Est-ce que ce groupe arrêtait des gens et les amenait ensuite à Wat Otrakun? Yes. After they made arrest, then they would oui. accompany those arrestees to Otrakun Pagoda. And did you have a brother-in-law uh, who was one of the chiefs in the Long Sword group? I have an elder brother-in-law who was one of the chiefs of the Long Sword Group. However, at that time, he did not marry my elder sister, Jed, and the marriage took place after the fall of the regime, and I did not have any contact with him during the regime. And you also mentioned earlier today uh, a friend of yours named Moon. 
um, who worked uh, sometimes with you as a palm tree worker and sometimes as a security guard. Uh, do you know whether Moon, Moon uh, was uh, at times part of the Longsword group? Moon was not part of the long sort of security group. He was part of the security group who stayed and lived in the Otrokun Pagoda. However, he himself was assigned to, to climb the palm trees. Uh, just so we're clear, so when m the periods that Moon worked as a security guard, it was at Wat Ho Chukun. Do I understand correctly? Yes, that is correct, because he uh, remained in the Otokun Pagoda. However, he was not part of the security force that was sent uh, to arrest the people. I want to turn now to the subject of uh, what happened to the Cham people uh, in your commune uh, after the arrival of the Southwest Cadres. Uh, can, it, can first, can you tell us, uh, after the Southwest Cadres arrived, um, did your work unit receive orders uh, to compile lists identifying the Cham people? At the time the arrest of the Cham people took place, I myself did not see such a list, as myself had nothing to do with the, the list or the arrest of the Cham people. However, in the uh, palm tree climbing groups, and there were four of us, we were told to, uh, to go along with the long sort of group, and we were not uh, told ex explicitly as where uh, they were heading to. They did not tell us that they were heading to arrest the Jam people. Uh, thank you. I'll get to um, the events of that day uh, shortly. Uh, what I want you to, to ask you about now is before, uh, before the Cham were arrested uh, that, that day. Um, you identified uh, a person who was your mobile unit chief named Noi. Noi. Uh, did he, do you remember a time where he received instructions to prepare a list of the Cham people uh, in his unit. In, in fact, in the mobile unit, they had already identified as who uh, were a Cham people and who were Khmer people. However, that is a, a secret matter, and I was not aware of it. They actually had a, a list of how many Cham people were uh, working in that uh, mobile unit. And we were living together with the Cham people, and they knew who were a Cham and who were not. Could you explain uh, how um, people were able to identify who, who was Cham? Uh, how, how was it that you could identify uh, the people in a unit uh, who were Cham if they were no longer wearing uh, Cham clothes uh, or speaking their language? Uh, do you remember how, how Cham people were still recognized? Uh, 
as for identifying who jam people were, it was not a difficult thing to do. Réponse. En ce qui concerne l'identification des personnes jam, ce n'était pas très difficile. At that time, the uh, Khmer Rouge cadres could à recognize who jam were and who were uh, not as they themselves were local de people and they had known those people. Jam people could also be uh, differentiated by the, the way they uh, spoke the language as they spoke the Khmer language with accent. But that is not actually a big issue. The, the real issue is that those cadres were the local people, so they actually had known those Jam people uh, earlier, and there was no need to make any specific identification for those Jam people. And in terms of uh, your uh, mobile unit chief, Noy. Uh, do you remember uh, him showing you a letter he had received uh, in which he was instructed to compile the names of the Cham? As for Noi, the unit chief Question. Ce qui was from Noi the same village that I was, and I was uh, rather close to him. He showed me a list of uh, a jam people, but he did not tell me what they would uh, or they were going to do to those Cham people. There was a, a list uh, showing the Cham people as one group and uh, the Khmer people as a, another group. Did Noi tell you uh, who it was that had ordered him to prepare this list? Noi, vous a-t-il dit qui lui avait donné l'ordre de préparer cette liste? No, he received uh, the instructions from the chief of Songkat or the chief of a uh, commune. However, the word Songkat was used at the time. And of course, uh, at the time, no uh, modern communication was used. Uh, for example, there was no mobile uh, phone, but a, a messenger was used, and the messenger would. Uh, relayed uh, such instructions uh, by a letter. Par lettre. I'm going to now turn to the uh, day Question or night that you started to describe for us a few moments ago, um, where you were assigned uh, to accompany the longsword uh, units. Um, my first question, though, in terms of the timing, uh, you've talked about seeing uh, lists that had been prepared by uh, your um, unit chief, mobile unit chief, identifying the CHAM. Uh, how, long after, how long after the time you saw these lists uh, was it that you were assigned to go with the long sword people to arrest the Cham. I saw the list uh, while I was still working at uh, the work site. Vu la liste, que je and uh, the arrest of the jam people took place uh, quite uh, a long time later. It could be three or four months later. And the list that I saw, that I said, uh, was made while I was working at uh, the work site. Cette liste a été faite alors que je travaillais sur le site. Do you remember uh, the day where you were assigned 
um, to go with the, um, the day you were assigned to go with the Long Sword Militia to arrest the Cham. Uh, do you remember approximately when that was? What month, what year? I was assigned to go along with the Long Sword group and as I said, I did not know anything about the, the date, or the month, as we did not have anything to refer to. And we were subjected to various work assignments. And when I was assigned to go with the Long Sword group, it could happen in around 1977, although I am not clear as to which month it was. Do you remember whether it was the rainy season uh, or the dry season? To my recollection, and uh, at that time I was still uh, doing the uh, palm tree climbing, so it could happen in around March or April, because we stopped uh, climbing palm trees uh, by May. This is just for, uh, from my uh, recollection. And could you now tell the court uh, what happened uh, when you were assigned to go with the Longsword group that day? I was assigned to uh, go with the Long Sword group, and I was not told as to uh, what I should do. However, we, the palm tree climbing group, was assigned to go uh, with the Long Sword group. And I actually uh, came alone to the uh, gate of the pagoda to go with uh, that group. And I did not know about the other three uh, palm tree climbers as uh, various groups were uh, sent uh, to arrest uh, jam people. And when I almost reached the main road, I saw a jam people being arrested. I saw a woman who was still taking a bath uh, with a jam child was dragged. Uh, to the gate of the pagoda, and I was instructed uh, to guard her. And Cham people would be brought in gradually uh, to the area where I was uh, standing, and I was assigned uh, to guard those uh, Cham people, and I was warned if any Cham escaped, then my life would be at risk. I was so shocked uh, upon seeing that, and the arrests were rather sudden. The Cham people were not realized that uh, they were uh, the target of being arrested. So they dragged those Cham people to, uh, and f uh, to put into one location and lined up, and I was assigned to guard. In fact, the Cham was put uh, to the south part of the road while I was standing on the north part of the road uh, to guard them. And uh, there were also members of the Long Sword group who were present at that location uh, to guard the Cham people who had been arrested. How many Cham people were arrested uh, that day, and what villages uh, did they come from? In Pim Chikong uh, uh, commune, 
Tiens, people lived in the A and B villages and in such a village as well. And in fact, all the Tiang people had been arrested that afternoon by the long sword group. The long sword group was uh, divided into smaller groups and they headed to various villages where the Tiang people resided. And by about 7 or 8 o'clock uh, that evening, all the charm within the commune had been arrested. Did the Cham people who were arrested include the Cham children? Yes. Every Cham person had been arrested by that time, including the children. And as I said, uh, the list uh, was compiled at the work site, but those Cham people had been arrested at the work site. But the arrest that I refer to here was uh, a separate arrest conducted by the long assault group. Some people who had been arrested uh, at uh, the work site were arrested and uh, brought along in an ox cart on the very same day. And you indicated that the arrests uh, included the Cham children. Uh, how young, what, what was the youngest uh, Cham uh, child that you saw in the group of people who was arrested that night. Correct interpreter previously was horse cats, not ox cats. Witness. From what I could observe, for example, in a, a family of five uh, people, when the parents uh, were arrested, the children did not have, uh, did not know where to go, but uh, to, to follow their parents. So all the children would uh, go along, and the targets of the arrest were uh, the, ha the husband and wife. And usually the husband was the main focus, as they were afraid that some men would resist. But for the wives of the women, they were weak and they were not expected to resist. And can you tell us uh, how many, in total, how many Cham people were gathered and arrested uh, that day? On that day, and of course, this is uh, my personal uh, estimate, as I did not have any particular uh, figure to refer to, the Cham people who had been arrested that day were between 400 to 500. In your OCIJ interview, Mr. Witness, you uh, gave a figure of 300 cham. Uh, are, you, are you sure that it was more than 300? Do you believe it was, it was 400 to 500 cham uh, or closer to 300 cham? President, Mr. Witness, please hold on, and Councillor Copper, you have the floor. Um, I'm looking now, but I recall um, that the witness had said between 200 and 300, rather than 300. Perhaps I'll re let me read uh, uh, the excerpt that I have here, uh, Mr. President, just to clarify. Uh, this is uh, interview E3 uh, 5252, E3 slash 5252, at Khmer 00235021, English 00235517, uh, 
uh, and French 00269892. Quote, they rounded up 300 cham children and adults and put them along the road in front of the pagoda entrance. At that time, they assigned two persons from my four-person team to guard at the north end and the other two to guard at the south. Uh, end of quote. Just, uh, Mr. President, uh, if you allow me, reading the excerpt on the 200 and 300, that is E3 slash 5302, English ERN 0021048, French 0063191, Khmer 00635176, quote, I was asked to lead 200 to 300 Cham and walk them to the old Trukhun temple, end Thank you, Council. Let me put to the question to the witness that encompasses all, all of this. Um, you, in your uh, past statements, you've identified uh, between 200 and 300 cham. Uh, today, you said 400 to 500, uh, recognizing that you are giving just an estimate. Um, as you sit here today, what is your best estimate of the number of cham people who were arrested that night? Uh, uh, said the, uh, the figure of 200 and 300 were for those uh, people who had been arrested at the village. And uh, if you add the number of the Cham people who were arrested at the work site, the figure uh, rose to about 400 to 500. So that is the, the figure that I uh, personally uh, made, and that I refer to the entire Cham people in the BMG Gong commune who had been arrested at the time. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, did you know uh, some of the Cham people who were arrested that night? As I have just stated, all the Cham people were arrested uh, throughout uh, the day, that day, starting from 6 o'clock and uh, lasted at uh, around 8. And this is what I refer to uh, through my uh, knowledge about what happened at the PMG Kong commune, and I cannot uh, refer or uh, claim to know what happened in other communes. Uh, yes, perhaps there was a translation uh, uh, issue. L let me try to cl uh, clarify what I'm asking you. Um, you lived in the area. Uh, my question is, did you recognize some of the Cham people who were gathered and arrested that night? Are they people you recognized and knew before? I knew uh, several Cham people who were arrested as I used to work with them. Before I was assigned to climb palm trees, I had been assigned to uh, go fishing with a group of Cham people and on to my boat. In my group, there were two Cham and myself. You've told us about how the Cham who were arrested were gathered um, uh, near Wat Ochakun, where you were assigned to guard. Um, what happened, uh, what was done with all these Cham people uh, after they were gathered on the road near Wat Ochakun?
after all the jam had been uh, collected, Une they were uh, instructed to walk through the uh, pagoda, and I was assigned to walk behind them while other members of the group uh, were walking in front. Before they were instructed to go in through the temple, Avant each of them was beaten with a uh, metal bar tour tour in order to, to alert them not to resist or to rebel. However, the beating was only for men and not for the women. For the uh, young children who could not climb the temple stairs were pushed up by the security forces. So some, some uh, children actually uh, stumbled and uh, fell. And that's what I saw. So they were started to enter the, the temple and the temple. men Les were beaten each man was beaten at uh, the door to the temple. À la porte du temple and did you see the Cham people uh, enter uh, the Wat Ochokun pagoda <coughs> did you see that yourself l'avez-vous vu directement Not only I saw the uh, the the beating and the, the jam people, I might, but I also entered the temple where the jam people were detained. I actually uh, walked up the stairs uh, to the temple uh, myself. What did you see uh, inside the temple? Answer. Within the, the temple, that temple was used to detain prisoners. When I was entering into the temple, I did not uh, see the inside clearly. What I, can, I could see at that time, uh, prisoners were locked to a long bar attached to the, the iron rod in the Temple and there were holes uh, to be used and to be, uh, you know, the uh, iron bars were inserted uh, through the holes of uh, the long bar. On that day, I could see there were a lot of prisoners within the, the temple. Uh, with your leave, Mr. President, I'd like to and now show the witness a few photographs uh, to see if he can identify them. Um, the photographs um, uh, are E3-2569, uh, E3-2568, E3-2573, and the photograph uh, that appears in E3 uh, 2654 at ERN 00211171. Uh, with your leave, I'd like to provide these to the witness and also uh, display them on the screen. President, you can do so. Je vous en prie. And uh, Mr. Witness, if you could first look at the photograph E3-2569, uh, and if we could display that on the screen. 
Do you recognize uh, this, what is shown in this photograph? It is not clear to me the photo, but I can say it is the Monizara one pagoda. It's the gate of the pagoda. The picture is rather small to me. Can you enlarge it? I do not know who this per who the person is because it's not clear. The name of the temple that you just referred the name of the temple you just referred to is that another name used for what Otrakun? In fact, the real name of the pagoda is Moni Sarawan. However, people living in the village call this pagoda Otrokun Pagoda. The picture is not it's not clear enough to me, but I can say perhaps it's me in front of the gates. Do, do you remember taking OCIJ investigators um, to Wat Ochakon and showing them uh, that entrance? Answer, yes. I recall that I brought uh, the investigators uh, to the pagoda. The interviews took place a few times, so I uh, do not recall well when I have uh, this photo taken. But uh, I am sure that perhaps it, it is me in the photo. And if you could look at the next photo, the photo of a that shows a road. Uh, e three twenty five sixty eight. Uh, do you recognize uh, that road? Uh, recognizing again the quality uh, of the copy we have is not great. Uh, but do you recognize the road that's shown in that photo? From what I can see in the photo, it is photo, the primary school of uh, Sambo Mir A. De, du village de Sambo Mir A. And to the east of the pagoda, there is a pagoda, primary school, and the primary, primary school remains until today. Et cette école primaire, uh, y est toujours. And uh, my house is in the opposite side. Ma maison, elle est de côté. And uh, if we skip the next photo, um, but then if we could show the photo uh, of uh, the uh, uh, pagoda that is shown in E3 2654. Um, this is a photo that appears at ERN 00 211 um, This is the uh, a better uh, copy of the photograph. Um, if we could show that on the screen uh, and uh, Mr. Witness. Should be number photo four on number four. 
photo numéro 4. Mr. Witness, if you could look at the Monsieur photograph Witten, that's on the screen, uh, do you recognize that pagoda? And pagode. can you tell us um, what pagoda that is? Réponse. Answer. It is Monizarawan pagoda, pagoda or Otrokun. Is that the same building uh, that existed back in uh, 1977 during the Khmer Rouge period? Answer. Back in 1976, I believe the temple, the structure of the temple, tiles or windows have been uh, renovated, replaced or replaced. Back in 1976, the temple looked uh, rather older, and there was blood stained, uh, you know, in the temple after 1979, the Ajahn committee and the, the committee of the pagoda decided to uh, repair the roof of the temple. Aside from repairing the roof, uh, was the structure, uh, was it the same size, was the pagoda the same size back in 1976 and 1977 uh, as it is now and shown as shown in this photo. Answer, I would like to inform the chamber that the size of uh, the temple and also the complex of uh, the temple it's the same. Now you've told us about how you took the Cham people uh, into the pagoda. Uh, what did you do uh, after that, uh, after you had taken the people uh, into the Wat Ochakun pagoda? Answer. After I took the prisoners inside uh, the temple, I was allowed uh, to return home. At that time, I was uh, shouldering the uh, palm sugar tubes uh, back home. And when you got home that night, uh, did you hear Question. music playing vous, from Wat Ochakun? Have you heard the music that was played at the Wat Ochakun? Response. After I got back home, the loud Quand music was rentré, uh, being played, and I could fort. imagine that uh, those Cham people uh, were killed on the night. The day after, in the morning, I met uh, Comrade Moon and I asked him uh, what happened to the Cham people who had been arrested uh, the previous night. He told me that uh, all of them had been uh, smashed and the uh, killing uh, lasted until 12 p.m. at night. And I asked Moon oh, about the young children or babies who were with the mothers. And I was told that uh, uh, the, some young babies or children uh, were smashed against the trees and uh, blacks 
were pulled apart que l'on avait and thrown into the pit. And he told me that the jam people, all of them, had been killed and smashed. Tous les I told you écrasé. that uh, there were about 200 or 300 jam people to put in the park, in the temple, but later that temple, night, uh, more jam people were brought in from both sides. How long did you Question. hear uh, music being played uh, from the loudspeakers uh, that night. How, how long did you hear sound being played over the loudspeakers? Answer. It was a strange, uh, stranger's night on that day. Uh, normally, the music uh, stopped up général, playing at around 9 uh, or 10 p.m. During that uh, period, I have no time or no watch clock to see the time. And usually, uh, we were woken up by the cock singing. And uh, the music uh, was a uh, stop uh, a little bit to be, you know before the cock uh, singing un peu avant le chant du coq. and uh, after the uh, music uh, was stopped uh, for about uh, 30 minutes uh, the cock uh, was singing et, et so tard, i could say that uh, the uh, music was uh, being played at that Je time until midnight Did you ever see uh, any of the Cham people uh, who had been uh, taken to Wat O Chakun that night? Uh, did you ever see any of them again? Et ces Cham qui ont été conduits à la pagode d'O Chakun cette nuit-là, les avez-vous jamais revus? Bon, bon, tiens. Answer, Cham people who had been arrested to my understanding, Les uh, Les could Chams survive, but not all, only two uh, jam people uh, could survive and could flee the killing sites. Three, perhaps. Trois. One uh, jam person uh, ran to the east zone area. However, later est. on, he or she was arrested. Et cette a été and the two charm people who fled and hid themselves in the lake survived until uh, today. When Question. Moon told you about the killings, Quand did he tell you where it was that the charm people had been killed that night? Answer. Jam people uh, were killed in front of the pagoda in the former regime, but that area was the mango or, or the lemon plantation. There were pits dug in the area of four by six meters or even larger than the, that size. Plus, plus grosse, One a pit can fit a 70 fosse, or 80 uh, people and in a personnes. larger pit, larger Les pit, when I was uh, climbing uh, the palm tree, I could see uh, palmiers, there were five large pits. The uh, plantation area uh, where these pits were located, uh, what direction uh, was it from the pagoda? Uh, was it to the east, north, south, or west? Regarding the plantation where there were pits, they were in the opposite, opposite side, to the north of uh, the temple. Côté, temple. And uh, that plantation 
there were two plantations uh, close to each other and Donc, il y avait uh, deux plantations qui étaient the plantation uh, were used to bury the Et dead uh, prisoners there were bamboo les trees il y avait des uh, in the plantation and uh, they the bamboo trees uh, were Dans used as the uh, border of the two plantations. Again, the plantation over to the north of the temple. You've described seeing uh, some pits, a number of pits, when you climbed up a palm tree. Uh, did you also visit um, the uh, Wat Ochakun uh, after the end of the Khmer Rouge regime? And did you see other pits? Uh, at that time. After 1979, generally speaking, villagers uh, went to dig uh, the ground to find the gold. Not only villages la terre pour trouver de l'or went to dig for gold, the militia men also qui pratiquaient le were there to dig up uh, the ground to find the gold. Pour trouver de the grounds uh, which uh, was used to bury Cham people, I once uh, went to see. After 1979, I uh, was assigned uh, to be a village chief. And during that time, I uh, went to see uh, people uh, digging the pits. There were uh, four or five uh, pits uh, with uh, the scalps and bones of the Cham people. And uh, in those pits, after the pits fosses, were uh, dug up, I could see creusé, the additional clothes of Cham people. And there jam. were big and small scalps so within uh, the big uh, pits. So I can assume that uh, the bigger pits uh, were used to bury uh, Cham people. Que les grosses fosses ont servi à enterrer des cham. And the, the for prisoner, for other prisoner, other than Cham people, they were be buried uh, within the smaller pits. There was not uh, so much smell at that time. The depths of uh, the larger pits uh, were, you know, to et my et neck, so I could uh, see that uh, there were scouts of uh, children, of uh, adults, of young people within uh, the pits. Again, after 1979, I uh, went to the uh, pits and I could see what I described to you. Um, Mr. Witness, the area where you saw these grave pits, uh, had there been any graves in that area before the Là Khmer Rouge established a security office at Wat Ochakun, were there, there any graves before Wat Ochakun was turned into a security center? Answer. In the former regime, before the security center had not been established, uh, there were no grave pits. De security, il On, pas de there were also no uh, dead rem uh, no remains of uh, dead people. Et Only after the uh, former regime uh, failed, the uh, private ownership uh, was abolished, so no one could plutôt. Oui, après la chute de l'ancien régime, on a aboli Possess la propriété the land area. Et donc personne ne pouvait posséder la terre. Et même nous, les gens, étaient rationnés. Le food était rationné à tous. Donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Cette zone était uh, une zone de repos pour les gens. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Et donc il n'y avait pas de graves pits avant le temps. Uh, Mr. Witness, um, first, um, around or during the time the Cham people uh, were being arrested, 
uh, in your commune. Uh, did any of the Khmer Rouge cadres say why the Cham people were being arrested? Les cadres Khmer Rouge ont-ils dit pourquoi on les arrêtait? Answer. After Cham people had been arrested, Après I les am not fully informed of the events taking place during the proper time Je because I uh, was deprived of detailed euh, information during the, the proper time. The information was uh, disseminated among members of the unit during the time only. I don't want you to, to uh, speculate or make any assumptions, Mr. Witness. Uh, I want to uh, read to you something you um, said when uh, we interviewed you in 2008. Uh, this is from document E3 slash 5302, Khmer ERN 0635176, English 0021048848. French 00623191. And I quote, um, this is what you told us. Quote, I was told that Cham people were a different race and had to be smashed, and that if we kept them, they would rebel against us sometime. Uh, end of quote. Um, in this interview, you also identified for us the person who made the statement. I won't say his name, uh, Your Honors. It is a T2 TCW873, um, but he is someone who you identified as one of the Long Sword Chiefs. Do you remember someone from the Long Sword unit? saying that the Cham were a different race that had to be smashed. I may have forgotten something in that period. Not only Cham people, was smashed. On pas écrasé que les Cham. Cham people were smashed uh, after other new people or 17 April people or those who Après, were linked euh, to avril, the euh, former Pérou, regime or the uh, ben former society. Regime, Cham people were smashed in a later les stage, Cham ont, ont été in the last stage. Plus tard. En phase. And as for uh, what they, what I heard that uh, the regime uh, was afraid of, uh, you know, Cham people, I, uh, I do not si know about the Cham, matter. Ça, I received uh, no information about that, and uh, some uh, information uh, was deprived uh, uh, from me. Et I was deprived of uh, some information, and as I told you earlier, the first target of enemies was the new people or 17 April people or those who served in the former society or the colonial regime. Not only Cham people were smashed. New people, 17 April people, uh, were nouveau, pressed down and they were uh, mistreated. And regarding the arrest, uh, most arrests were conducted on the new people or 17 April people and uh, public uh, servants in the uh, former Surtout regime and uh, regime. former society. Those who had links to the former regime was smashed. Tous and even the, the, the older 
cadres were also le, smashed les, and killed. And uh, the old cadres uh, were under also the arrest by the new cadres because of the links. Uh, Mr. President, I see we're at, at 11.30. Um, this is uh, quite an important witness for the prosecution. I have probably 10 minutes more of questions. The civil parties have indicated they have 10 minutes. Um, if we may be granted uh, an additional 20 minutes um, uh, to examine this witness, uh, I can proceed now uh, or we can proceed. Uh, after the lunch break at, at your discretion. Le président. President. Yes. You are allowed to use the requested time that is 20 minutes. You may now proceed. Vous avez la parole. You can finish your questioning until the end of the morning session. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, I want to read to you um, on the issue of uh, that I had just asked you as to the reason for the arrest of the CHAM, uh, a statement you made in your OCIJ interview E3-1692. Uh, Khmer ERN 00218 through 555, English 00242088, and French 00337425 through 26. Uh, this is what you uh, testified to OCIJ. Uh, question. Did you know the reason for the arrest and killing of those CHAM? Answer. No one told me the reason, but I had observed, I had observed that they organized opposition to anyone who was not Cambodian, especially against the CHAM and the UN. My uncle had married a Vietnamese lady, and his wife and children, nine in total, were arrested and taken to be killed since their mother was Vietnamese. My uncle, Nep Kuch, was not arrested and killed because he was pure Cambodian." Uh, end of quote. Uh, Mr. Witness, can you tell us about uh, your uncle and his Vietnamese wife? Uh, where did they live and when was it uh, that his wife and the nine children uh, were arrested and killed. Et à quel moment et à quel endroit sa femme et les neuf personnes au total ont été arrêtées? Woman. Mon oncle a épousé une femme vietnamienne. And under the Luna regime, the Vietnamese uh, were expelled from Cambodia. However, since her husband was Khmer, she was allowed to stay with my uncle since they had uh, children and she was not uh, sent back to Vietnam. And under the uh, Khmer Rouge regime, not only the Cham or the Vietnamese people uh, were screened and the names were compiled, the Chinese were also screened and lists were également. compiled. And the, the Chinese were referred to as the B-52 group. Des Chinois comme étant le groupe du B-52. In 1977, and by that year, my uncle had uh, 
nine children. À ce moment-là, mon oncle avait déjà Eight neuf of whom enfants. Were arrested. Huit d'entre eux ont été arrêtés. And in fact, uh, his other child was uh, hidden uh, by et son autre enfant villagers and uh, as they said that the child did not belong to that family and to Uk, Uk as the name of uh, my uncle's wife cet enfant n'appartenait pas à cette famille and in ni fact à uh, the, the child Chan True although uh, was born to a Vietnamese mother the child was a uh, Cambodian si who spoke uh, Khmer fluently and the child survives uh, today et le, a and let me sum up uh, his wife and his eight uh, children Sa out of nine uh, were arrested and the arrest took place uh, during uh, daylight that is during daytime not at night la and it was uh, pitiful to uh, learn about the arrest as uh, they were Inhumanly mistreated, but nobody dared uh, to uh, react or to intervene. Even I myself did not dare to do anything, otherwise si I, I would uh, have been arrested as moi well. Moi même, in certain circumstances, sinon, even the children arrêté. were arrested, Dans the parents uh, did not dare to intervene, as at that time everybody uh, stick, uh, stuck uh, to a saying that uh, mind you mind your own business. They actually uh, lived in the Natchiray village and uh, the arrested children and the wife were transported to Otrokun Pagoda. One of his children, it could be the third or the fourth, whose name I cannot recall, actually fell off the uh, horse cart and uh, in fact he was tied and they did not stop the horse cart uh, to pick him up but he was dragged along behind the horse cart. People saw it and it was rather tragic but nobody dared to do anything. Everybody minded his uh, her own business. During the regime we lived today for today and we did not know what would happen to us tomorrow and that's in everybody's mind and as i said the nine arrestees were uh, transported to otokun pagoda and the arrest took place before the arrest of the cham people and I cannot tell you my the description of the event uh, is uh, precise because this uh, event took place 20 or 30 years ago but uh, when I'm here before this chamber I am telling the truth of what I uh, learned and uh, what I experienced. Thank you Mr. Witness. I had one last question for you. Do you have uh, do you know how many People in total were killed at Wat Ochakun. Uh, and can you tell the court uh, how it is that you know or how you uh, have an estimate of the number of people that were killed there? President uh, Witness, please uh, hold on, and Council Copper, do you have the floor? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I object to this question. Um, the witness has testified earlier that he hasn't seen any killing. The only information that he says he has about killing uh, was uh, on a hearsay basis through Moon. Um, he might have acquired post-79 knowledge, uh, but that's hardly relevant uh, in this light. So I object to these questions because it's asking for speculation. Mr. President, I'm not asking for speculation. Let me put a specific question that's based on the witness, witness's knowledge since we have little time here. Um, after the end of the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, Mr. Witness, um, were there documents found at Wat Ochakun? Uh, were there prisoner lists found at Wat Ochakun? 
and were you able to tell from that uh, how many people had been detained uh, at that prison? I respond to that question to, based uh, on the, my experience, Réponse, and of course, as a human being, we shall tell the truth, je dois dire la and the truth uh, should not be manipulated. La ne doit pas être At the Otterkun Security Center, uh, some people uh, claimed that person, people who were killed there were totaling 35,000, total, but that number is rather excessive. Mais un assez I lived in the area Moi, and I saw the pits parages, laying there. And from my uh, estimate, I don't think the number is that, ha is that high. And there is no de real statistics uh, to back up but that claim. Exact. Qui viendrait no. à l'appui de cette affirmation. But it was uh, a, a rumor avert uh, by mouth from Mais one person to another. And from my calculation autre, and from, uh, from uh, the number of uh, people who lived in the area, nombre de the number of dead was let's say less than 20,000 or it was around 15,000. Moins de 20 000 but the figure as uh, quoted at the uh, memorial statue was 35,000, but to me uh, the number is high, too high. However, this is my personal experience, my personal belief, and I, I do not want to contest anybody else's claim. But if the number is below 20,000, I think that was about right. Thank you for your uh, uh, Mr. Witness, and for your time today, uh, I have, we have no further questions, Mr. President. President, the uh, political lawyers for civil parties, you have the floor. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, everyone in and around the courtroom, and good morning, Mr. Witness. I actually have a, a short question on two brief uh, uh, topics since we are running out of time. Et très rapidement, puisque nous sommes à bout de temps. Me to do some follow ups uh, from what was left off by the uh, co prosecutor. Do you know actually a mobile unit chief uh, by the name of Noe? Connaissez-vous Noe, un chef d'unité? Answer Yes, I know Noe very clearly. He was not actually a uh, mobile unit chief. He was actually a worksite uh, mobile unit chief, and he was not a cruel person, and he did not involve in any arrest. Question. You said that he was in charge of a worksite uh, mobile unit, or in Khmer spearhead uh, unit chief. Can you tell us exactly uh, where was that worksite that he was in charge of? Answer. As I said, he was a spearhead uh, unit chief uh, based dit, on the assignment. For instance, if I were to uh, assign to go at the, to work at the Peng Pool si work site, then he would be assigned to be in chief of that work site for a period of a fortnight, for instance. And when the work was concluded, we would be assigned to Wilk Nong work site, and that work site was considered a spearhead, and a unit chief would be in, uh, assigned to be in charge of that spearhead. So there were various work sites, and mobile, uh, the sector mobile unit uh, workers was uh, assigned uh, to those various uh, spearheads or uh, work sites. Question. Can you uh, tell us whether he was assigned to uh, be in charge of uh, various uh, work sites within a commune or within a, a district level? Answer. 
he was not uh, assigned to be spearhead uh, mobile chief uh, at the sector level, no. But uh, it was at the uh, commune level. For example, at uh, my BMG Gong commune level, where there were work sites that workers were assigned to, then he would be assigned to be in charge. I mean, in charge of the work site and in charge of the kitchen hall. De la cuisine et du site. Question: Do you know whether he could read the letters? Question: Savez-vous si did you yourself était, ever read any letter si to him? Answer: His knowledge was réponse, very limited. Ses connaissances étaient limitées. And for any an con, uh, open letter or any letter which was not confidential, usually he asked me to assist him in writing, uh, namely the statistics of male and female workers and the number of sick workers. Usually he would ask me to, uh, he would dictate that to me. And for the uh, secret nature of uh, documents, he did not allow me to uh, write for him. Question. Let me be more specific. Did you ever read a, any letter dealing with the Cham people through Mr. Noe? Answer, no, I uh, did not. And as I said, uh, in the mobile unit, uh, there were a few of us who were close to him including myself, and I knew about the statistic or the compilation of the Cham people uh, was being made, but I never saw that list. I only heard uh, that uh, such a list was compiled. Mr. Uh, President, I'd like to read a, a sentence Monsieur which is an extract uh, from the written record of this uh, witness statement. To the investigator of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, and the document uh, number is E3-552-527. The Khmer Ian is at 0041-8575. And my and that is the the back page of the Khmer document and I, my apology that I do not have the English or the French Ian number. The witness was asked how whether the order was uh, seminated uh, verbally or in writing, and his response is the following: No, the mobile unit chief. Had the letter, since he could not read properly, he asked me to read it uh, to him. Next question is the following. What was the content of that letter? And the answer is, the letter instructed the uh, compilation of the Cham people, so they uh, would know about how many Jam women and jam men. However, the letter did not specify what uh, they uh, will be going to do to those jam people, and the letter was signed by Pip, who was Gan's wife. Free translation. And Mr. Witness, after I read it uh, to you, does it refresh Après your uh, memory that you uh, read a letter to Noi? And that letter was uh, from Piep. Et que cette lettre provenait de Piep. And uh, regarding uh, uh, the, the letter for the compilation of the statistics of the Cham people, en ce qui la pour que soit I des know about uh, the compilation, but Cham, I did not read uh, the letter. And as I said, uh, in the mobile dit, unit, uh, there were uh, people who were close to Noi and who close to me, and I learned of that information from them. Moi, 
appris cette information. And uh, the person actually read uh, the letter to know and told me that a instruction was to compile the list of uh, Cham men and Cham women, and I did not know what uh, they would do to the uh, Cham people. Although I say that I did not read uh, the, the letter myself, but the person who read it to know it was uh, very close to me and we, I learned information from him. Question, this is my uh, last question to you as we are running question, out of time. Did you ever get married under the Khmer Rouge regime? À disposition. Vous êtes -vous jamais marié sous le régime des Khmer Rouge? Answer. Réponse. I married my wife under the Khmer Rouge regime. Épousé ma femme sous And le that happened in 1976. The marriage uh, was uh, organized we were forced uh, to to get married a été organisé avec and uh, that was marié. the first uh, marriage ceremony that took place in Pimachikong uh, commune. commune and there were 28 couples 28 who were arranged to marry that day and the marriage day. did not uh, proceed through an orderly fashion we were asked to sit and listen to a speech Comme, uh, and then nous they nous cooked uh, some food uh, asseoir, to receive us, and at the end we were sent uh, back home. Nothing, any, nothing of any particular uh, nature assisted on that day. They never asked whether I loved uh, my wife. It was oh, all uh, pre-organized, si and we returned home after uh, the uh, dinner reception. Question. Did you uh, volunteer uh, to marry your wife? Volontaire pour épouser votre femme. Answer. Réponse. My uh, circumstance was rather specific uh, comparing to others. For other couples, they did not consent uh, to the marriage. However, in my case, uh, my wife was actually uh, my wife's family side actually consented to uh, the marriage as my parents actually uh, sought their agreement uh, beforehand. However, we were prohibited to, to marry uh, at our own time, and I was arranged uh, to marry on that particular day with uh, amongst the 28 uh, couples, and to my understanding, maybe two or three couples actually consented to the marriage. But, um, thank you for answering my question, Mr. Witness, and Mr. President, uh, we have no further question. President, thank you. Let me take a lunch break and return at 1.30 uh, to continue our proceedings. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room for witnesses and civil parties during the break time and invite him back into the courtroom at 1.30. Security personnel, you are certainly to take his phone to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceeding this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess. Some Jane Groucho.